let's have some beer. What's going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we have got a can of Touching Tips Spruce Ale by the Sleeping Giant Brewing Company out of Thunder Bay, Ontario, coming in at 4.8% ABV. Touching Tips. <laughs> that name is freaking hilarious. Um... Yeah, the only other spruce ale that I can think of that I've had is the uh, Twisted Spruce by Highlander that I had at the Powassan Beer Festival there. It was pretty good. So, I don't know. It was gifted to me by Timothy at the Oktoberfest Craft Beer Festival here in Ontario past weekend. So let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got using my Sleeping Giant Glass, also gifted to me by Timothy. Tim's a good guy. He is a good guy. That was a nice pour. Thumbnail. A little bit of haze going on with the addition of some chill haze going on. It smells just like a kind of nice lager or some kind of golden ale. I mean, like a little bit of a piney note. Kind of maybe citrusy or something. It smells alright. Let's give her a shot. Wow. That's really, really like clean. Nice. Malty. A bit of that kind of caramel flavor. And then kind of a a pininess is there. I'm a fan. Let's do this. A cheers, everybody. And so many cheers to Tim. You're good, Tim. I love you, Tim. The beard loves you, Tim. Yeah, I could drink a few of those with a no problem. Nothing at all to read on here, except it does say on top, a spruce tipped golden ale. And it was packaged on, that'd be July 4th. So, pretty fresh, pretty fresh indeed. Sleepinggiantbrewing.ca will bring you to sleepinggiantbrewing.ca. If you're in Thunder Bay, you know, way up in the northernness of Ontario, the northernness, oh my god. Marcel came over the other day and we tried doing a vlog and we got into this freaking debate. It wasn't even a debate. All I was saying is that, like, I'm going to pull it up right now on the other thing here just because, um, map of Ontario. Uh. Okay, zoom in a bit more. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, so I want to zoom. Where, where exactly is Thunder Bay on this map? Thunder Bay is... Where the frickin' crap is Thunder Bay? It's more close to the, wind, the uh, Manitoba side. There it is, way over there. Okay, so even... Okay, really? So Thunder Bay isn't even that far north, really. Okay, so the argument Marcel and I were having is we're in North Bay. North Bay is roughly here. This area right here. All the rest of that is Ontario. Like, we're not even in central Ontario, geographically speaking. But population-wise... There's pretty much no population below right there. So we're kind of, even population wise, we're like still basically central Ontario, but I don't know. And that's all I was saying. You know, I wasn't trying to start a, a big debate or make anyone mad, but Marcel got super angry at me because he's like, you know, I am Northern Ontario. That is who I am. And blah, blah. I'm like, I wasn't trying to, and the vlog ended up, 
just going completely off the rails and it is completely not ever going to be on the internet. Which makes me sad because the beer was actually pretty good. It was a, another Halcyon Barrel House beer. It was their the bottle sitting right there. It was Seven Years Bad Luck, their Brett IPA. And I actually liked it. It was ridiculous. Like, the way I said to look at it, imagine you're from some other country, you have no idea what the population or anything like that in Ontario was. And if, if they saw that, they'd, they'd assume North Ontario would be in the North, not in the middle. That's all I was trying to say. I don't know. Marcel watches this vlog, is probably going to fucking smack me in the face now. <laughs> I love you, man. Rating wise, there aren't a lot of them. 239 over on Untapped with a uh, average of 3.78 out of 5. And we have a little description on here as well. 15 pounds of hand picked spruce tips crammed into a easy drinking golden ale. That should be an easy drinking golden ale. Crisp with a slight hoppy flavor, leaving almost a piney aftertaste. Decently carbonated. Excuse me. Sorry, there was a little stain or something. I don't know. I wiped it off. It's gone. Yeah, it's it's a nice beer. There's nothing insane going on anywhere. It's just a good kind of intro beer introductory beer to the craft beer world transitional beer however you'd like to say it in your own words and I have another can in the fridge because Tim's the man you got some expansion sour IPA by stack in the fridge Yeah. I'm pretty sure that one's supposed to be going into the LCBOs. Like, it's a good selling beer. It's very popular at every festival I've seen it at. And it's supposed to be part of the latest Northern Brewer Alliance six pack thing. They did the last year. It's got uh, New Ontario, Lake of the Woods, Highlander, Stack. Come on now. And a brewery I just can't think of off the top of my head. I think Manitoulin. I think it's Manitoulin. Because the first one had their swing bridge blonde. I think. Look at me go. And yeah, so this year, the expansion is the stack contribution. I can't recall what the stack contribution was last year. It wasn't anything nearly that crazy. I think it might have been like there's wasn't there Saturday Night Cream Ale, I don't think, but. Oh! It'd be so freaking easy to check, though. Northern Brewers Alliance. Northern Ontario Brewers Alliance. Yeah, bam. Northernbrewers.ca. We'll bring you there. And there it is right there. Now that's the new one. The new one has their swing bridge. I don't know about... I don't see the first one. Mixed Sixer. Will it show the other one if I click on that? Probably not. No, just showing the new one. Man, I don't freaking know it was in the last one then. I know it had... Uh, New Ontario's Bear Runner Blonde. I know these guys had their Northern Lager. This year they have their Mr. Canoe Head, which is a very, very tasty hoppy red ale. Uh, New Ontario's putting their Tree Topper Red Ale. That's actually kind of funny. There's two hoppy red ales in there, and they're actually quite similar. 
Those are two. I, I those. I wouldn't mind drinking doing a side by side with those two red ales. And I think there's another one too that I had recently that was like exactly the same. I don't know. Small bit of rambling happening for almost 11 minutes. So. I was about to say break, but you know what? Easy drinking beer. Drink number last. Mmm. <sighs> Definite more kind of hit of that piney flavor. Oh, that's going to come up in a minute. Mm. Not like vomit but there will be a an expulsion of gas particles out of my mouth sleeping giant brewing company your touching tips spruce tipped golden ale rating no ingredients but label wise that's a brewery exclusive beer just lucky that tim brought to the festival sold 7.5 it's good stuff yeah, not amazing not Mind-blowing, in my mouth's opinion, but good, easy drinking, clean, crisp, tasty beer. Have you had it? Have you had other spruce tip beers? What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below, because that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the thumbs up button in the face. You want to see more? Subscribe and smash that bell notification so you're made aware when new videos are released. And I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Uh, peace out! <sighs> I told you. Excuse me.